everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm back home. I just, a few minutes ago, my brother came and he had took the rooster, so I don't have a rooster. We had to make the house very dark, and it was dark outside, and he shine, I shined the light, and he grabbed the bird, and he's in the cage, and he's gone. So that's what we did today, and we rode back from um, my husband's brother's house today, it was a nice ride. There was I took just a tiny bit of footage of the green, well, it's green and orange and yellow foliage. It's not as bright and vibrant this year for some reason. The colors are not there. So I don't know if it's because we got a lot of rain or what, but the colors are just not as pretty as they are other years. A lot of you don't have the hillsides that I'm showing. A lot of hills here, and with the, the trees aren't as pretty this year. There's not as much red in them. It's more yellow, still greenish, brown. The colors aren't real good. And I will get my rest tonight. So I should feel really peppy by tomorrow. And tomorrow is Monday. It's supposed to be 70 degrees, I think, here, which ought to be really nice to be able to sit out in the sun and um, enjoy the fresh air. I hope you all had a great weekend. I did. I had a very good visit with Thomas and Don. It was a really... Um, it was, it was fun seeing the animals and getting to chat with them. And they're really fun people to talk to. Um, the, ch the talk never stopped. It was, it was nonstop talk. And it seemed like um, they were people that if you didn't know them, you felt like you knew them forever. And so that was how it was. So those of you that get to meet Thomas, and Don are very, very lucky people. I, I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones. Well, that is it for today. I'm running out of stuff to say. I really don't have a lot. Now my life has quieted down. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. You have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.